Our country has changed, we've got more developed areas, we've got uh, uh, big housing challenges, but actually right now the hedgehog population is recovering in urban areas where there is housing. Uh, and so people can do more, charities can do more to help raise awareness, for example making sure there are gaps in fences so that hedgehogs can pass through them. You know, I used to feed hedgehogs as a child in the garden at home and it seemed like an opportunity to help uh, an animal that is much too endangered at the moment. I hope everybody will, will keep an eye out. There are a number of different surveys done within Surrey, the Wildlife Trust, working on hedgehog hotspots. Getting communities engaged in, in, in helping projects like hedgehog hotspots is really important. But one of the things I'm working on at the moment is the whole question of warning signs on the roads. Give local authorities a sign they can use to alert motorists that this is an area where you may get small animals on the roads. Uh, not surprisingly, if I get this all sorted out, which I intend to, the sign will have a picture of a hedgehog on it. Well I'm going to put the footprint tunnel in my garden. I don't think I've got any hedgehogs. I live on a fairly busy corner so I don't want them crossing the road anyway. You're going to give it a go? I'm definitely going to give it a go.